Hello and welcome to the webinar today. Uh, my name is George Byrne and uh, today we're going to be talking about drones in the energy sector, uh, specifically utilities and natural power. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Uh, so who we are, uh, Copters are the UK's leading commercial drone solution provider. Uh, we've enabled over 2,000 businesses uh, in the last couple of years to benefit from using drone technology. Uh, that is either using drones uh, themselves uh, for commercial work, using the software, um, or using the payloads uh, specific to, that, uh, to those drones. Um, now, what we do is we provide customers with a complete solution. So that includes equipment, includes the software such as Pix4D, uh, Propeller, uh, we offer consultancy on certain projects, certain jobs, uh, certain business cases, and we also do the CAA uh, and off-call accredited training. So the likes of the permissions for commercial operations, this is something that we uh, that we offer. Um, now, uh, as we move on, we'll show you a bit about the, the different drones that we're we're offering. Uh, and these are some of our partners and products that we uh, we obviously have partnered with in the UK uh, to give sort of uh, our customers the, the best chance of uh, succeeding uh, in the industry. So as you see, we've got the DJI uh, Flyability Wing Trip Pixel D Flare, uh, which some of the more industrial inspection teams will know is uh, one of the uh, the world's leading th uh, thermography cameras. Propeller uh, for your large scale mapping, uh, and obviously LiDAR USA, which is uh, a new type of data collection using lasers. Uh, from an aerial point of view. Our supporting customers in the UK, uh, likes of Seven Trent Water, Track Oil and Gas, Can Group, uh, Scottish Power, Veolia, Sirius Minerals, Jacobs, Costain, Thames Water. Um, obviously, we have, we've got a lot more, but they're some of the, the standout ones that we, we do a lot of work with, with some of the new technology. So the run through is gonna go as followed. Uh, why use drones, the benefits of drone technology, industry case studies and then obviously the next step in terms of training and how to move forward so why why use drones you know that the age-old question of why to use drones collect better data and this is this is one of the the big the big reasons for drone use in the, in the last couple of years um i mean acquiring data for an inaccessible places even if it's getting a different point of view from an aerial angle um uh, getting to places where it you could potentially put a human but it's it's dangerous. It's it's life life threatening, um, or it is just a case of it is far too expensive to to actually shut down a site and put somebody there. Uh, and obviously, with the the likes of photogrammetry, thermal cameras, uh, the, all this upgraded technology allows for for better data, higher quality data, uh, but it allows you for data which you can then interpret, um, and and actually find out new things about as well. So. As we have there, we actually have uh, spoil heaps where you've got vol volumetrics being measured. Uh, that's using Pixel Z. You can use those to, to actually measure the, the volume of the, the site. So if you're looking to um, analyze costs, analyze actual worth, you can do that through the lights of the software, just using photos from, uh, from an aerial position. Um, and then obviously with the, the advancements of te technology from thermal and zoom, you don't even have to be close to, uh, close to site. You can be you know, a good 100 meters away. Um, for anybody who was at our um, Innovate East with Anglin Water um, last month, this is the, this is the site. We're about 150 meters away. I uh, thought it'd be quite a nice shot just to just to show sort of the uh, the capabilities of the drone. About 150 meters uh, directly away from the site, the, uh, the thermal cameras obviously indicate uh, heat temperature uh, protruding from the bottom of the, uh, the the domes where it's where the heat has been released. Obviously, the, the white domes uh, actually retain the heat quite well, uh, act as sort of a greenhouse. Inside some, some of the days, it's really hot, but really good event. Um, I'd really uh, recommend anybody who's looking to um, find out more about the, the utilities industry, different processes that are going on at the moment. Definitely uh, recommend uh, checking these, uh, these shows out. So moving on to one of the big points, lower costs. You know, a lot of people will know the scaffolding, rope access, cranes, they're expensive, time-consuming, um, and they're dangerous. But lower, lowering those costs, those initial costs, that's going to be a real benefit to people. Um, it's less downtime equals lower costs. 
you know so if you've got uh, you've got 10 sites if only two of those and you look at it retrospectively you've got two of those sites which are uh, actually got a problem which you could have assessed with a drone you actually saving yourself eight different sites worth of scaffolding and, you know you do the maths you know if each site's costing 10 grand in scaffolding in a week you have it up for a certain amount of weeks you're saving yourself a lot of money over 100 grand just on those uh, those individual sites um, one of the big things as well is is how easy drones are. Uh, now, a lot of people are a bit scared off, a little bit hesitant to get into the drone industry, hesitant to adopt drones into their, their operations because it's new technology. Uh, it can be seen to be quite alien. But really, as you see here, I've got three separate uh, photos. Step one, program the, uh, the app. You download an app just like you would on an iPhone. Uh, Pixel D Capture, for instance, that then uh, will identify what drone you've got on at the moment. Um, it'll identify a flight plan for you like that. It will go up and it will take photos all the way along uh, and then it will tear out those photos, create a 3D image that we see in the middle. So you'll actually capture the data and then step three, you can actually interpret and deliver that. So if it's a case of doing it for a customer, a client, you can say, well, this is stage three of the, the overall process, stage four. Uh, week five, you know, and, and you can carry on like that. You can uh, you can actually um, inspect these photos as well. So if you were to click on the road, uh, which is in the middle here, you'd be able to take about the, the 50, 60 photos which connect those. Because how photogrammetry works, I won't go into too much detail, but how photogrammetry works, it'll identify actual points of interest. It'll, uh, it'll communicate with all of the points of interest that they are capturing. Uh, and it will create a 3D image. Now, if you were to point on each of these uh, points of interest, they will show you each of the, uh, the photos which were collected. So if you were looking to zoom in on this house, you would get about five or six photos and you'd be able to look at exactly those and see if there was any faults, any deformities, that sort of thing. Downtime, we did speak about that a little bit. Drones are deployed and ready to gather visuals uh, within a minute. Um, that, I mean, well, what more can I say? Drones, this day and age, you don't get a box of, uh, of spare parts anymore where you have to build your own drone. It's an off-the-shelf solution. Put the cameras on. A lot of them are click and play now. Um, fasten the arms, put the legs in, and away you go. Make sure your batteries are charged, of course, and it's, it's as easy as that. And it's it's really, you know, the last year or so, it's been a case of showing customers and showing companies how they can benefit from drones. And, you know, as soon as they say, well, actually, that was easy. I could have done that myself. It's It, is, it becomes one of those, well, well, yeah, it's been proven now for the last couple of years. Um, it's less so much about the drone. It's more about the data and the uh, the actual cameras that you're using, which is the really important part. Uh, the data that you collect is is obviously the money maker at the end of the day. It's not so much the drone. That's just the vehicle. Um, but, yeah, as, as we say, performing an entire inspection, it isn't a matter of, you know, setting up scaffolding, setting up, you know, your, your surveying team. You're not doing it in, you know, three weeks now. You're doing it in, in three hours. So, um, you know, there, there really are pros and cons to drones, but, you know, one of the big ones is, you know, you can you can do things a lot quicker, which is uh, what a lot of people like. Um, and, yeah, no, no long setups, safety process. You do, you, you set up your drone, you do your risk assessment, you identify if there's any uh, issues in the way, and then you go. Now, this is a, a really good video that uh, we actually captured at Innovate East, one of the innovation uh, days with angling water um, and as you'll see drone takes off it, and it is this is actually real time so it's actually just identifying showing you how quickly you can identify something so say this is an area where it's blocked off there's flooding there's you know there's problems on the roads you stick a drone up you can see the whole site um what was that 10 seconds 10 second uh, video that now we can obviously interpret that data by using the zoom function that the m210 the dji equipment has um, and we can actually zoom in onto a target or a location and say, well, actually, you know, there's a problem there. We didn't have to get too close, but we can already see that that needs to be identified and that needs to be inspected further. Um, so with the likes of the M210 Z30 camera, which is 30 times optical zoom, we're able to actually zoom in and interpret different data from uh, a safe distance away. Now, a basic sort of rule of thumb at the moment is uh, there's there's two different types of uh, doing inspections. You can you can do the inspection with it with a zoom camera and stay a distance away, or you can do it with a high megapixel camera uh, like the phase ones. And this is why we're sort of championing these at the moment. You know, what we try and do is we try and 
you know, explore and promote new and exciting technologies which are really benefiting the industry at the moment. And the phase one cameras are really them. You know, we've looked at the, the internal flyability drones. We've looked at DJI for a long time, Flare because they're such experts. And the phase one cameras are really coming into their own because it allows you to take a photo of a complete site. And because you've got 50, 100 megapixel cameras, you can actually zoom in post-process. Obviously, the data is going to be a lot heavier, so it's going to be uh, a lot larger file size, but you're not having to zoom around the site. You're not having to find things. You're not having to... Uh, you know, find different aspects of the, of the site and then go back to them. It's as easy as clicking and zooming in. As with this perfect scenario, this tower, it's got wires all around it. You don't want to be flying a drone. And even with the signal interference, it's going to be very difficult. Um, traditional methods for this, rope access, a lot more difficult. With a uh, high megapixel camera, you can actually get a, a very far distance away, zoom in, identify if there's any problems, if there's any uh, problems with health and safety. Uh, and you can uh, then make a make an assumption, process that data and store it. Really useful. Safety aspects we spoke about it for years. This is one of the big ones. Prevention. Um, no need for for workers to enter or climb dangerous areas. Minimise preventable injuries, um, and obviously reduce pilot stress with all these really good innovative technologies coming out. It's a lot easier for for drones to uh, to do the job and do it well. Now, this is uh, data collected from a very well-known distribution center in the UK. Basically, it's just identifying that in uh, traditional works, there is a, a runner which goes up and down this corridor, picking and packing boxes. If one of those goes down, it goes down for about 12 uh, to 24 hours, depending on the severity, uh, and that's 12 hours minimum. Um, obviously, that's because a, a rope access technician needs to go in, climb to the top, climb down, identify the issue. With the internal Elios drone, it allows you to go to a, a certain location, get some really high quality data with your 4K camera, come down, interpret that. And if it, if you need a, a rope access team to go up, yeah, so be it. You may be able to do, may need to do that. Um, obviously, this is uh, just showing the, the capability of the camera as well. 4K, really important. Just a little bit of a uh, sort of a, a synopsis on the, the safety side. Traditional scaffolding, slow to construct. Human risk, expensive rental and upkeep, you'll know this more than most. Drone technology, quick setup, min uh, minuscule human risk, and uh, it's cheap maintenance at the end of the day. Now, a quick uh, case study on 7 Trent. One of our companies that we work with at the moment uh, wanted to use drones uh, to save money, improve efficiency, and improve safety uh, for their staff. Uh, but one of the big things was to save money for their customers as well, which is uh, everybody who uses water in the area. Uh, so they contacted Copters in 2017. They wanted to enable drone operations. We helped them out as more of a consultancy, supply drones, did the training, uh, and they actually recorded three quarters of a million pounds of savings in the first year of drone operations alone. Drastically improved safety of the, of the workforce with certain jobs. Um, and now they're predicting you know, 1.5 going into the, their second year and third year. So really exciting stuff. Same with Thames Water, it's another water company, very water themed, very utilities themed, um, but uh, Thames required a UK partner. We had the expertise with working with Seven Trent and other companies that we were able to you know, provide them with internal and external drones with the training uh, and offer them high quality service along the way. They saved 1.5 million, as uh, Mr. John Lorimer says at the bottom there. They did all that in one year. They're looking to save just under four million going into 2019, which is, you know, it's fantastic when you think about it. Now, just a little bit, and I won't go into too much detail on this, but how can Copters support your business? Uh, we're a full solution provider, so we do training, operational safety, or advanced flight training. Uh, we talk all about the, uh, the PIFCOs, which is your permission for commercial operations. Now, if you want to go into more detail about this, we've got videos on our YouTube, which uh, obviously specify exactly what is required. Uh, I won't go into too much detail about this right now, but as you can see, it's a four-day course made up of a ground school, uh, operations manual, and flight tests. Um, these are some of the, the aspects, so by all means, pause the, uh, the, the recording now and uh, obviously have a look. Uh, but the business start packages are a big standout for me there. Um, get in touch and we can, we can talk through those. Uh, we're based in Leeds, 24-7 technical support, and we've always got spare parts, stocks, as well as uh, additional units. 
Uh, now, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, on this video. If you've got any questions, more than happy to answer them. Get in touch with Copters. Thank you very much. Bye.